Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of communication skills, lecture one, unit 1.1. Before we start studying communication skills, we need to understand what is communication, what is meant by communication. If we say communication, a communication is actually a transfer of knowledge from one person to another, and that knowledge needs to be meaningful. A communication can be defined as something, as a message that you are giving or receiving, or you are exchanging information, opinion, or ideas. This exchange of air communication can be through writing, it can be through speeches, or it can be through any pictures as well. The, but the main idea is that you're transferred, whatever the information that you are transferring needs to be meaningful. It needs to have a purpose why you are sending that particular message and it needs to be understood by the recipient as well. Communication is a two-way process. You cannot keep saying something, communicating something, but the other person is not understanding. That means that your communication is not complete. For the communication to be complete, you need to transfer your information and the other person needs to understand the message as well. If we talk about communication, there are many benefits of effective communication. The first thing is that because of effective communication, uh, your decision making skills and your problem solving skills become strong. You are able to take decisions. You are able to solve the problem if you communicate with the other person. You become more productive in what you are doing. You are able to persuade the other person. If you use effective communication, you will be able to convince the other person. You will have a better work culture. If you have a good work, work culture, if you have a good communication with your colleagues, you will have good professional skills and you will be successful. Along with that, if you are communicating effectively, you can get proper feedback and you can enhance your work as well. So how do we develop your communication? The first thing is that you need to define your goals and expectations. You need to uh, clearly understand what are you trying to transfer? What information are you trying to give to the other person? You need to clearly deliver your message. You cannot have confusing ideas in there. You need to understand that how you are going to choose your medium. Which medium are you going to use? Whether you're going to use a telephone or a laptop, or maybe you're going to, you, are, you want to write it on a paper, maybe you want to send an email. So you need to choose a medium carefully as well. You need to make sure that the other person, that the person that you're trying to communicate to stays involved as well and he listens and he shows empathy as well. And this goes towards you as well, that you need to listen to the other person to uh, communicate effectively. You need to make sure that, that you're not only speaking, but that you are listening as well, because until or unless you listen to the other person, you will not be able to understand what their issues are and you will not be able to communicate properly. So what are the skills that you're going to require? The first thing that you will require are good interpersonal skills, a good personality, a good, you need to have a good listening skills as well. You need to have good non-verbal communication skills. You need to have a good body language. You need to be very open to listening to the ideas. You need to have good presentation skills so that you are able to present your ideas. And you need to have good writing skills so that you are able to communicate to the other person. So whenever you are communicating, it is very important that your communication is two-way. You are speaking and the other person is understanding what you are saying. How will it benefit you? It will benefit you that the other person is understanding. He is he's being more productive. Your professional skills are enhancing. You're getting proper feedback. When all this will only happen if you know exactly what you want to communicate, you deliver your message, you choose the right medium, and you listen to them as well using the, your interpersonal listening, nonverbal presentation, and writing skills. Thank you.